I suppose I've chosen it because I left the museum wanting to go home and make one. I go to museums and to libraries quite a lot. Um, and the reason that I go quite often is fairly mercenary. I'm looking for something. I'm looking for the beginning of an idea. So quite often I'll go with a notebook and, and, and it will just be some tiny thing. It won't be the whole work that, that I'm looking at. It will be quite often something that's on the edge of the work or, you know, or something that I've seen somewhere else that suddenly is, is, I'm reminded of by seeing a work. For me, all interesting art is sort of something made out of nothing. It's to do with, you know, very minute gestures, minute fixations with things, with, with, with obsessions almost. With having it in my hand, you know, I can actually see or feel the space in which it was made, you know, the light coming through the window, the, the things that were around the artist making it. You know, there are a flock of geese rising out of the clouds in the background here that, you know, you would possibly have to look at it for quite a while to even notice, you know, perhaps the person who owned the book, you know, might not have noticed them several times, you know, from reading it or may have had it for a few years before noticing them. And they're almost not there. I'm interested in art from many different periods, but I think the late medieval period is, is one that, that has influenced my work in particular. Um, and that's partly because of what I see is, I, I, I enjoy the humility of the work, the, 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 the fact that, that things have been made with such exquisite skill in a way, but that's not the point. There's also the fact that these, the time, the devotion, the effort, that, that these things have been brought, in fact, into a world that was fairly hostile to their existence in many ways. Very often, I think, right from the very beginning of becoming an artist, you know, what generates your desire to make things is having seen something. You know, you, you see a work in a museum and you go home and you want to make one like it or you want to evoke something of the sensation, something of the experience. And, and for me, yes, very much that, you know, I now see the power of something like this.